Hello and welcome to another PPM Bullets Per Minute Boss Guide. Today we're going to be talking about Gulvig, the scariest femme fatale you'll ever meet. My name is Shwingy, let's get started. Gulvig is the fourth boss in the game, found on Vanaheim's second floor. She's the boss that ends my runs more than any, so maybe I'm the one who needs a guide here. First things first, you'll notice that her fight takes place in a special kind of arena where you can fall off the ledge, it's pretty small. Oh no! Falling off counts as taking damage by the way, so you do want to avoid doing that. Fighting Gulvig is like learning a dance. She's got moves that keep you on your toes and others that will have you shimmying left and right. So let's go ahead and talk about them. Dagger Throw Gulvig readies 5 daggers to be thrown at you one at a time on the beat. This one is tricky at first, but if you just alternate strafing left and right with the correct timing, you'll be able to avoid each dagger nicely. You can also jump over them if you're in a tight spot, but that could leave you open for one of her other attacks, so it should be used situationally. Dagger Spread Gulvig fires 4 daggers at you in a spread. If you're far enough away from her, you can simply position yourself to be in between the daggers to avoid them. Otherwise, jumping over them is probably the easiest way to avoid getting hit. Floor Blast Gulvig kneels down and lifts her right hand up, charging up a blast that hits the entire floor. You have to jump or be in the air at the time of her attack's release to avoid getting hit. Use the crosshair indicator, it looks like an upwards facing triangle, to time your jump. Easy peasy, right? Wrong. Aerial Blast Gulvig kneels down and lights up the sky after a short charge up. That's right, this move is the parallel to her floor blast. When she does this move, you have to not jump, just stay on the ground and you won't get hit. The tricky part is telling the difference between both of these moves as they both start with her kneeling down. Just remember that the one with the crosshair indicator means that you have to jump, the one without the indicator means you should stay on the ground. You can also cheese this move if you're flying way up in the air as it actually doesn't reach all the way up to the ceiling. In fact, this whole fight is really easy if you can fly, but more on that later. Laser Cross Gulvig spawns a laser field at her current location. The lasers are shaped as a cross or an X, separating the arena into 4 quarters. The laser lasts for 16 beats, 4 bars of 4-4 four four for you wonderful musicians out there, and they rotate every 4 beats. Randomly. This, in conjunction with all her other moves, is by far the hardest part of the fight. You have to try to position yourself in the middle of your little section of the pizza so that when the lasers rotate, you move in the same direction accordingly all while dodging her other attacks. You also have the option to double jump over the lasers, but this can leave you open for her aerial blast and get you hit pretty easily. What I really suggest is trying to stay in the middle of your quarter, dodge her moves accordingly, move in the same direction as the lasers move, at as far a range as you can from her without falling off the ledge completely. Yeah, that's a lot. Practice, 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 and you'll learn to tangle with her without getting hit. General tips. Having a couple speed upgrades helps with this fight. It lets you strafe more quickly and dodge all those projectiles coming your way, as well as letting you reposition while the laser fields rotate faster. Having too many speed upgrades at this point can make the fight harder because it becomes really easy to run into the lasers by accident. Think about whether your weapon pushes you backwards every time you fire it. If so, make sure to give yourself enough room when fighting her to not fall off the arena's floor. That would be embarrassing. If you're playing as Herr Fjotter, or you got lucky and picked up the snipe ability during your run, you can use it to cheese this fight. Just use snipe on Gulvig at the beginning and she'll get thrown way off to the side and fall into the void, ending the fight then and there. Likewise, if you're playing as Odor or picked up the flight gloves during your run, you can cheese the fight by staying high up in the air and firing from above. Do strafe in one direction though to avoid all the daggers that will be thrown at you. While strafing in one direction is usually recommended for most of the game, I find that it's a detriment against her when not cheesing her. Strafing left and right and reacting to what she does accordingly is the safest course of action in my opinion. Boss modifiers. There are a few dangerous modifiers that Gulvay can get, the scariest being Vengeful. Vengeful causes projectiles you shoot at the boss to be shot back at you in return. Be extremely careful when starting the boss fight to make sure to read her modifiers before you start shooting her. I have died to Vengeful Gulvig too many times before reading the modifier, don't be me. Beating a Vengeful Gulvig takes a bit of luck and a lot of damage, at least for me. What makes this so hard is that you're already trying to dodge several projectiles that she'll throw at you 
herself while jumping over lasers and floor blasts, and now you have to worry about the extra vengeful projectiles. Good luck. In this situation, strafing left and right to dodge stuff will get you killed, so I actually recommend strafing in one direction and jumping over the laser fields as necessary. I just hope you're not doing a sand grader run, because this has got to be one of the biggest run enders. Poisonous. Getting hit by a poisonous attack will cause you to take a bit of damage over time after the initial hit. Also, it leaves behind a poison cloud around her even after she dies. So wait a little while for it to dissipate before rushing to get your well-earned key and boss chest. Giant. Giant Gulvig is annoying because she has more health and because now her laser fields are a bit harder to jump over. It's best to do the fight by staying in the middle of your little section if you don't want to get hit by it. One cool thing about her giant version though is that you can jump up and not get hit by her aerial attack if you miss right which one of the big area moves she's doing. I wish you the best of luck on your future fights against her and I hope this guide helps you at least a little. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button, it lets me know that you enjoyed it. I've got links to my other guides in the description below, go ahead and check them out. Subscribe for more and as always, have a good one. Wow, what a fun fight, right? 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 <sighs>